Uh, hello, everybody. I am Rabab Romeri, the second author in this work. Currently, I'm a PhD candidate at KAUST. I'm going to present our paper, which is collaboration between Extreme Computing Research Center and Computational Electromagnetics Lab at KAUST. The title of this paper is Solving Acoustic Boundary Integral Equations Using High Performance Tile Low Rank LU Factorization. In fact, tile low rank algorithms are a compromised pathway toward optimal data sparsity designed to fit within the now widespread DAG based tile algorithm format. This is the first known application of tile low rank for non symmetric problems requiring full LU. Uh, this slide explains the big picture that drives the main contribution to HICMA library. HICMA stands for hierarchical computations on many core architectures. By the end of this presentation, you will see that in order to achieve potential of emerging architectures, we need new implementations of formally dense linear, least squares, eigenvalue, and singular value algorithms that over tunable accuracy versus time versus speed trade-offs that exploit hierarchy of precision that increase concurrency. Besides exposing more concurrency to attendees, we must remove a lot of over-synchronization and over-ordering of traditional programming model. And as well as high in memory hierarchy as possible because of many order of magnitude of both time and energy cost when going deep into DRAM, or in fact, passing a message. With such motivation, here they are some takeaway for Al uh, algorithms and architectures from this paper. We extend tile low rank algorithms to full LU from previous Charles scheme. We illustrate data sparsity inherent in acoustic scattering boundary integral equation formulation. We compare against classical vendor optimized numerical libraries. We implement using StarView dynamic runtime system. We contrast algorithm gains with tracking the hardware only, as you can see here when testing on four generation of Intel processors. I will dive into these results later. Of course, with such new algorithms, we can extend many of other applications, not just acoustics, including those that may be limited by memory, such as geospatial statistics, since we may want to go up to million by million dense covariance matrices. PTE constrained optimization will have a dense Hessian if you go to second order methods, such as needed to do seismic inversion for oil. A fractional differential equation demands as well large memory. There may be energy constraints, such as on the top of mountain, we need to do adaptive optics, correlated 10,000 of tiny mirror to correct for atmospheric turbulence. We may have real-time constraints, such as deconvolving wireless communication signals. And maybe simple old-fashioned runtime constraints in chemistry, materials, and bioinformatics, such as genome mode association studies, which require huge linear least square problem. Here, it is the outline of my talk. I'm going through some motivations behind this work, although I briefly mentioned uh, some of them before. I will describe HICMA library and acoustics boundary integral application. Then I will dive into explaining the tile low rank LU factorization. I'll present some numerical and experimental results. Then I will close this talk with a conclusion and some roadmap for the future. Our main motivation is coming from evolution in architectures and software. As everyone knows, after hitting frequency barrier, processing unit cannot run faster due to energy efficiency consideration. So high performance computing is shifting toward increasingly parallel hybrid machine with deep memory hierarchies and augmented with different type of accelerators. As an example, epic ROM based system have a highly hierarchical architecture as in the figure on the right. Uh, we know that these linear algebra libraries are confronted with the memory capacity limits and are not able to produce results in a reasonable time when working on large matrices. Therefore, to attain the potential of these new architectures and to cope with memory and uh, time limitation in, dense, uh, in the field of dense linear algebra, we are addressing the problem of fitting large matrices into finite memory by exploiting data sparsity using tile low rank approximation algorithms. Uh, so, this uh, motivate HICMA. HICMA, uh, the main idea of HICMA lies in operating small compress tiles and ensuring data live higher in the memory hierarchy. This leads to cut down dense flops and improved overall performance. 
Of course, such optimization are carried while preserving the accuracy requirement of the scientific application. Uh, this is HICMA software stack. It depends on each core library, which is plus a library system, but it's designed mainly to work with compressed matrices, uh, which internally cause different matrix subroutine from plus. The computational task of HICMA can be scheduled using dynamic or uh, static di uh, runtime system. HICMA depends as well on star search library, which is a high performance each matrix market. HICMA uses StarSearch to generate and compress each tile independently using different compression techniques. There are currently many state-of-art compression format for each matrix approximation. Some of them support weak admissibility, hierarchical, uh, such as hierarchical semi subproper and uh, HODLer, while other uh, methods rely on strong admissibility formats such as H2, a PLR or tile low rank for data formats. These compression formats are the main building blocks of hierarchical low rank approximation libraries, such as a strum back library, which uses HSS uh, format, Hodler library, depending on the weak admissible hierarchical of diagonal low rank. A uh, geometry previous fast multiple library, which really applies some sort of algebraic FMM. Last but not least, hierarchical chameleon library, which leveraged dense linear algebra chameleon implementation to work in each matrices using tile low rank format. Our linear system of equations is coming from solving a, a 3D acoustics boundary integral equations problem. Here we use one of the standard discretization in scattering theory for acoustics and electromagnetics, namely Nastrim method on curved linear triangular batches which are mapped into uh, flat unit right angle triangles, result in a linear system of equations where the matrix is large, dense, non-symmetric, and in double complex uh, precision arithmetic, which require fast direct ELU solver. As we know, dense ELU factorization is computationally intensive. Fortunately, acoustic boundary integral equation exhibit data sparsity coming in near and far field inter, uh, interaction. HICMA exploit this uh, underlying structure by providing a new high-performance implementation of ELU-based solver using tile low rank approximation in complex precision arithmetic. This development relies on StarView runtime system to extract the scheduling of computational tasks between shared and distributed memory systems. HICMA leverage tile data descriptor to support tile low rank format. The idea of compression on per tile basis is introduced first on Westberger PhD dissertation back in 2013, and then Mary PhD dissertation in 2017. HICMA support two variants of compression per tile, fixed rank, which is performance oriented approach. It can be used, for example, as a preconditional and iterative scheme or fixed accuracy with variable ranks which drive the computation toward accurate solution. This uh, fixed accuracy is the compression uh, mode that we use in this research. In this case, we approximate each of the off-diagonal tile using randomized SVD. In fact, we capture the most significant singular values depending on application-defined accuracy threshold. I will show you later how we selected this now. Therefore, each of the off-diagonal tile can be represented by left and right singular vectors. The diagonal tiles are full rank and cannot be approximated, which represents self-field interaction in this application. Our systematic approach relies on asynchronous execution using StarView runtime system. StarView orchestrates tasks between shared and distributed memory system, possibly equipped with GPUs. StarView provides different task scheduling policies, enabling uh, look-ahead techniques over different uh, memory management procedure and support out-of-core when going deep in the memory hierarchy. Uh, this is sequential tile low rank ELU algorithm, which is quite similar to the sequential dense ELU algorithm, except it provides a new matrix matrix multiplication kernel that takes into account the data format. Whether, whether it is dense or low rank of each operand A, B, C. A tile low rank ELU consists of four computational kernels, G, E, T, R, F, which perform dense ELU factorization in the diagonal block. It is similar to a back G, E, T, R, F since the diagonal tiles are dense and full rank. 
Here, we do not require pivoting since the matrix is non-symmetric and diagonal dominant. This task is followed by upper and lower theorem, which updates the off-diagonal low rank time. Then, applying each chord gem, which has three variants depending on the format of A, B, C operands. For example, each chord gem LTD, A is tile low rank, B, C are dense tiles. In fact, Starview scheduler followed DAG when scheduling its tasks with respect to their data dependencies, in which nodes represent computational tasks, and it show dependencies between those nodes. This is a DAG of tile low rank LU factorization for six by six uh, tile matrix. It's quite similar to the DAG of tense LU, except for the red cycle task. Uh, this highlights the different uh, variant of matrix matrix multiplication kernel, as I already explained. Uh, the time proceed with the DAG width, while the height of the DAG show the amount of concurrency. Of course, following this diagram, we want it to be skinny and tall by increasing the amount of concurrency between competitional tasks and then improving the overall performance. Uh, here we assess the numerical accuracy and robustness of uh, Hikma LU based solver and explain how we choose the truncation t shirts. This figure show the rank distribution of initial matrix obtained after compression using different accuracy three sheets. The matrix is 91K times 91K, and the tile size is around 3,000. We have in total 20, 27 tiles in each dimension. The color shows the rank of tiles. White color, uh, color show the dense diagonal with a full rank. Red tones denote tiles with the larger ranks, while blue tones denote tiles with the smaller ranks. The highest ranks are located on a tiles around the diagonal, which contains the near field strong interaction. The smallest ranks are located in the off diagonal tiles, which typically represent the far field weak interaction. In this experiment, we inherit our ordering from mesh generator, which separate near and far field interactions. You can notice here as the truncation uh, three shed decreases, both average and max rank become large, since the truncation step remove less singular values. This figure shows singular value decay for different tiles depending on the distance from the source point. We select tile close to the self interaction field, tile on the near field interaction, tile on the far interaction area, and last tile is in the furthest point. We can notice that when moving away from the source point, the singular values decay significantly compared to the near field interaction tile. Moreover, we can notice sort of convergence on e to the minus two accuracy three shots. To validate and demonstrate the accuracy of the solver, we consider scattering by a ridge sphere, so the scattering fields can be easily verified and tested by comparing them with the analytical solutions. This figure compares the near scattered field with the mean scattered fields on the sphere with radius equal one meter, where the observation points are placed four meter away from the center of the sphere. X axis in both figures represent theta that range from zero to 180, and y-axis uh, in the figure below represent the near scattered field, while the y-axis in the figure above show it is different from the computed using me series code. We have around 91k unknowns. The incident wave uh, is a uniform plane wave with a frequency 1,978 Hz. The solution is obtained using Hikma lu based solver for three different fixed accuracies, E minus one, E minus two, E minus three. In the figure above, you can see that the error decreases as the accuracy increases, which demonstrate the correct implementation of the solver. While in the figure down, uh, when comparing to analytical solution, E, e minus one accuracy three should degrade the numerical solution. Accuracy to the minus two is typically satisfactory for this uh, uh, application. With accuracy three should e to the minus three, the solver is an over accurate, which results in unnecessary computational load. Uh, to show the applicability of the solver, in this slide, we consider scattering from a more complex realistic submarine geometry. The submarine is contained within a box of this dimension. The plane wave is propagated along X direction from nose to the back with a frequency of 1366 Hertz, 
with a wave speed in seawater equal to 1,500 uh, 1, uh, meter per second, and the wavelength in the seawater equal to 1.098 meter. This figure shows the pressure fields on the surface of the submarine computed by HECMA LU based solver for three different truncation errors E minus 1, E minus 2, and E minus 3. Based on the conclusion from the previous set of results for the sphere, and since there is no difference between the two figures on uh, the right, we believe uh, the solution converged and this e to the minus two accuracy is enough for this example. Performance results. Results are, co are conducted on various shared and distributed memory system. For shared memory, we run on four generation of Intel, and we also uh, test on AMD Epic Nebula. ARM uh, and ARM architecture. For distributed memory, we run on Cray XC40 Shaheen 2 Sober computer. Performance in shared memory system. This figure de depicts how algorithmic improvements are much more effective than incremental hardware improvements. There are eight curves for four generation of uh, Intel. Uh, Intel Proudwell, Haswell, Sky Lake, and Cascad Lake. And two generation of linear algebra algorithms. At the top is the classical one. The bottom is the tile low rank uh, algorithm. X axis uh, represent different metric sizes and Y is the time to solution. The lower is better. The classical category here is Intel MKL optimized dense LU factorization. Following the arrow here, we can notice that the red arrow show two X speed up from the hardware, same algorithm. This is only free range, just riding the hardware. Green arrows show 20x speed up from algorithm, same hardware. And blue arrows represent 30x speed up from both. This is new in all generation of Intel and new algorithmic improvement on the new generation of Intel. In terms of problem size, this figure shows that the data sparsity extends the problem capability on a ship of finite memory. To demonstrate the applicability of uh, our HECMA LU based solver, we run it against dense LU implementation of uh, Open Plus on AMD EPIC processor and uh, dense LU implementation of ARM PL on ARM architecture. Both maintain the same order of magnitude improvement when using TLR computation compared to the classical approach. Interestingly, TRR put a powerful time saving tuning parameter into the hand of the user that fully dense method simply cannot provide. So this figure shows the accuracy impact on overall performance. Here, X axis is different uh, uh, accuracy three sheets, while Y axis is time to solution of this, no. Uh, you can see here, as the accuracy increases, the time to solution increases steadily due to the larger ranks required on the typical time. This figure shows the time spent in generation compression phases for HECMA and dense LU on Cascade Lake system for various metric sizes. As you can see here, TLR compression is not large compared to the generation of the matrix. Both generation and compression have significant concurrency, of course, since each block is an independent task. Performance on distributed memory system. This figure shows the performance of the plasma dense LU on 16 nodes, 13 no, uh, two nodes uh, 32 nodes, and up to 256 nodes on Shaheen 2, and compares it against HECMA LU factorization on 16 nodes only. X axis represents different metric sizes, and Y is the time to solution. Thanks to low rank approximation, HECMA uh, LU, uh, LU outperformed the plasma dense LU across range of matrix sizes and up to an order of magnitude when using the same number of nodes, 60 nodes in this case. This figure shows the performance scalability of HECMA LU on up to 1,024 nodes with 2.5 million of unknowns in double complex position. This figure represents execution traces Tile dense LU uh, factorization is implemented uh, in Chameleon as on the left uh, figure. And HICMA uh, LU execution trace are, is on the right. Both of them are run on four nodes of Shaheen with matrix size of 74K. 
This leukomelion finishes the execution in around 400 seconds. While the tile low rank uh, representation of this algorithm is 3.5 times faster and lasts for 116 seconds. Each core of the four nodes has its timeline represented along the x-axis. The y, uh, the um, blue colors here correspond to core busy working, uh, while the red colors show the cores are idle. The gray area for Hikmatris does not record any activities since the code had already finished. This is great, but there is still room for improvement with the idle time. There are a lot, but over shorter execution time. Conclusion and future work. In this paper, we uh, present new high performance implementation based on tile low rank LU factorization, which exploit data sparsity of the matrix operator in the context of scattering uh, analysis from acoustic 3D boundary integral equations. Our high performance tile low rank LU factorization rely on task-based programming model associated with the StarView dynamic runtime system. This synergetic software solution enable asynchronous execution of TLR LU factorization while mitigating data motion overhead. We show performance comparison results of TLR LU factorization against state of our uh, state of art dense linear uh, dense uh, LU factorization on various shared and distributed memory systems. We achieve up to an order of magnitude performance speed up. Moving forward, we are planning to investigate parsec dynamic runtime system. We would like to assess more complex geometries and provide support for GPU hardware accelerator and to extend the support for multiple right-hand sides. Um, our HICMA library is public. Please feel free to download it either by scanning the QR here or using uh, the URL on the top. We would like to thank everyone who has helped us in this uh, achievement. Uh, runtime uh, team in uh, Andrea Bordeaux, ICL team from UTK, Cow Super Computing Center, NVIDIA GPU Research Center, Intel Parallel Computing uh, Center, Cray uh, uh, Center of Excellence. Thank you.